to my ears. You better know it. Thanks to Monica Mayhem and Sweet Advance for In Control's official theme song for MCW Defines, available on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Sweet Advance is called In Control. Welcome all around the world, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, and welcome to this station. This is MCW Defines, a Saturday morning, and you know exactly what that means. It means the Smith Southern Championship Wrestling on your airways. I'm Chris Hanukkah. Oh yeah, if you're on our YouTube simulcast, why don't you like the video, subscribe to the channel, then ring that bell, ding, 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 that way you ain't miss anything. Especially this week. Last week we had a debut with superstar in the enemy of average, Geo Savage. And brother, did he and Don Montana put on a show last week. Also, due to controversy in the world title reigns, the legacy world championship reigns, Connor retained his title. This week, yes, we did get clarification right before we went on the air this week. This week, all three titles will be defended this week on this episode. Junior title on the line. Former champion, the astonishing Austin Mulatalo makes his return to defiance. The challenge. Tommy too good for the junior everyone title. Then it will be a rematch we thought we'd never see. The LA Hustlers, the challengers, the hooligans, the champs. The LA Hustlers will try to go after number 11. And then for the quest for the tag team titles to go off for number 11 this week. And in our main event, it will be the world championship on the line. Legacy world title on the line. Connor the champion, Derek King the challenger. What would the outcome be for this matchup? Also, the $5,000 bounty that's placed on Serpent's head, he will face another individual coming after that money. And we got so much more. Kilo and Ray Ivory renewed their rivalry and so much more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back from this commercial break, Xavier Williams looks to X out a member of the Prodigy, that being CJ Money, when we come back from this break, don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, I'm Corporal Rosani, the Eat of Arkansas Sports Guest, and the voice of Mid Southern Championship Wrestling. I invite you to come join us live and in person as the 30 year legacy of MCW continues Mid Southern Championship Wrestling. 1098 West Kansas Street, just minutes from I 55, right there in Oceola, Arkansas. Because we ain't no Friday night show like an MCW show because you don't know what's going to happen. Info right there in the screen show times at 8 p.m. Doors open up in between 6 30 and 7. Oh man, it is all every Friday, and we're taken for MCW Defiance that airs on YouTube Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern. Come join us live because we fight on Friday nights. See you in Oceola. Gentlemen, we have a long show. Let's get to it. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we going to come to the world form? The intimacy first on the right side of the screen. Dressed with the red and black. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Xavier Williams. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hands upon the rooms in the front. This is C. Shake money! This match will fall. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, amplify your positivity on a whole nother level with Resonate the Sound. Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern on the station, or go to YouTube and search Resonate the Sound. If you're joining us on YouTube, we appreciate you being here with us. No matter where you watch us around the world. 
But if you are joining us, courtesy of this and all other local television stations, courtesy of Syndicated Media Television Partners Group, we thank you for allowing us into your homes. The calling of Ohio. And the power of his angry wounds under the two nations of your life. Boys, there's a blank. There's a woman who's been under the incredible tutelage. Yeah, 
gonna need right in the midsection. That time, side the river to the arm. Right now. CJ Money in big, big trouble right now. Attention, attention, attention. Are you looking for a place to celebrate your birthday, your wedding, or any special occasion? Then look no further. Let MCW be your ultimate celebration station. Specializing in birthday runs, party runs, wedding receptions, and all other special occasions. MCW has the best packages at the most affordable prices. And you can get a discount to our live MCW wrestling shows each and every Friday night just by booking your event with us. Just contact Harry Clapp for David Clapp today or stop by and see us at 1094 Wisconsin Street, Nociola, Arkansas. Let MCW be your ultimate celebration station. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on Defiance and we have ourselves a newcomer and let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, on this contest schedule for one fall, in the seat first, making his MCWA Defiance debut, representing the modern day monsters. This is D D K. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is the life of the party. This is Zach Daniel. This match one fall. And yes, of course, DDK coming to us. Um, former U.S. champion, uh, out of control wrestling, and rookie of the year. There at uh, OCW and Hoxie making his uh, MCW Defiance debut. 
representing the modern day monsters. In an experience category, it will slightly, and I mean slightly, favor the life of the party at Daniels. But I'll tell you one thing, Daniels DK ain't nothing to play with. Calling her Mataya.
I'm Cornbread Chris Heineck of the Junior Arkansas Sportscasters and the voice of Mid Southern Championship Wrestling inviting you to join us live each and every Friday night at 8 p.m. at MCW Info right there on your screen. Plus, we're tapping for MCW Defiance on YouTube Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern. We fight on Friday night. See you in El Salvador. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the fine team. Yes, you see the graphic up on your screen. The, the junior heavyweight title on the line. Let's cover the ring for the first of our two championship matches. Ladies and gentlemen, the final contest. Schedule for one fall. And this match is for the MCW Junior Heavyweight Championship. The challenger and making his device return tonight, going for his third MCW Junior Heavyweight Championship. He is the challenger, the astonishing Austin Mulatalo! And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is the Heavyweight Championship. What's bottom line? Also, Mulatalo has been to the top of the mountain before in the junior division. Can he do it again with the junior title on the line? Looks like the uh, Astonishing Fan Club here. This championship match. This is. This model, he's going to have a whole lot more still to come here at Mid-Sunday Championship Wrestling. We thank you for being here with us. A lot of basketball around the time, but keep in mind. It is Champions Advantage. Which means Bulatalo has to beat the champion by pitfall of submission inside the ring. Don't no call that up on tie up. And the two good strike by the champion. Two girls that move 
for my line is uh, too bad for the challenge. Challenge is trying to buy some time here. That's exactly what he's doing. Mulatalo had his hand here. Yeah, Mulatalo's got some in his hand. Yeah, the referee doesn't see it. Mulatalo looks like he got some type of Brad Santo for an object in his hand. But the midsection. Gosh! Yeah, he caught it with that uppercut shot. He caught it with the uppercut shot. And a new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, and you, you'll see 
Controversy created a new champ. We got a new champ crowned it. And no question about that new champion is crowned. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the referee has reversed the decision. Therefore, the winner is best here in this qualification.
hanging them right there in that top row. Meanwhile, the background choking away is Ray Ivy on the backside of this whole scene. The kilo to the outside, right into the hands of one hate seven. The boot keeper, and right now he is hammering on his longtime nemesis, Kilo. And I mean, longtime nemesis. Closer over to a center. I'm going to fall back in the line with Prince against two. And now, catch Rex Fever, courtesy of Ray Ivy. He don't get to one. Lay twice over the Junior Heavyweight Champion, and uh, there's a side boot right to the head. Cover by the press. Yeah, too much tape line with those shoulders and no leg hook. Be careful when you're in the ring, Ray. I'll just show you. All right, swim. Look at the sunset swim.
short to rock that top rope. And the game one kick. The game one kick connected. And he had tights. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, Ray Ivy. Ivy got the win. More defiance right after this. Defiance, and um, apparently we have uh, a new alliance here. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is the war for the introduce first on the right side of the screen, accompanied by L.E.X. This is Luke Justin. This is Morgan Williams! Now, formerly known as the dude, Morgan Williams just signed. Where's this match by Polly? Well, it's all the time. You gotta keep your eye on Ali Axel. That's just what happened last week. Okay, Bonnie. Well, here we go. He actually got the women to trailer. <laughs> the last time these two kind of got involved in was when Williams was, was the legacy world champion. And successfully defended it against the justice. Well, it's like the sequence into the side headlock by Williams. Reversal, look at the top wrist lock here. This time it's a new side headlock. Side headlock takedown. Of course, the new alliance with Ali X and Luke Justice. Yeah, new alliance, I should say. Let's see how well that pays off. I'll tell you one thing about Ali X, she already managed Dorian Bain to the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Shot up the rope, great shot up like that time of justice. Drop down, no drum, no justice. Great standing drop kick. Justice trying to get out of the way of it, but to no avail. Like I said, these two no stranger to each other. One or two more rounds as far as the Legacy World Championship is so we'll see that championship to figure. Right here in the second part of our main event, double main event.
ground. And there you see Allie X right there to uh, get her some of uh, the man formerly known as the dude. Morgan Williams, that is. Now you get your phone. Put a hair after uh, Elliot touched it. Cover. Again, no pressure on shoulders and no leg hook. Now, Tabor's got four legs. There's a leg break work the solo will say. Yeah. 
again, throw to the outside, and once again, keep your eye on all the eggs. Yeah, literally stepping. Yeah, what a referee is being distracted. Allie Ensign literally stepping all over Williams here, right here, ringside. gentlemen on MCW Defines that apparently, apparently this has been a screw up on their part. But apparently it was not told to us whether this is a tag team title match or not. So I, I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, you can bet there'll be an injustice following this one, I promise you. It was not told to us that this was a, a tag team match during our, our last commercial break. And apparently... Give it to us as a singles on my format, and we'll apologize. You know what? I'll just lay out. I'm just gonna let you do your thing. Yeah, and the, the match begins, and you know what? Yeah. Normally, we'll, this will be on the mic, so yeah, I, I think it'll be best to carry it here. And apparently, because of this screw up. Once again, not on my format. And apparently, this is a tag team match. Collar and elbow tie up. Now back to the corner. And clean break. Well, hair pull. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we'll do what we gotta do, and you no, know, it is what it is. Collar and elbow tie up, back into the corner, and a clean break. And I mean a clean break. I know we normally supposed to call this matchup on the mic, but instead. Hey, 
transfer to the mid section. And then there's that right hand. And I mean that right hand connected. Yeah, he's trying to Irish with the big man. And to no avail. Reverse on the Irish whip. Hard in the corner and a clothesline. I mean, huge clothesline. And a tag made. And now, shot right to the right to the ribs, courtesy of rough shot. Irish whip. Look at that back elbow cover. One count only. That's head mayor. And then a rich head like a fly. on the arm and once again space it away. Back into the collar and elbow tie up. Right into the double hand and wrist slave by rough shot. Yeah, literally it's almost like Try to reach for the tag is made, notorious one. Yeah, we apologize if we're thrown off of our format here because we were told that this was a one, supposed to be a one on one contest. Now, all of a sudden, it got changed to a tag title match. Scoop slam by the notorious one who has a little bit more of an ego problem than normal. And a break up that time, courtesy of Atsy Kane. Choke on the river, he said, get your break on. Again, a red chair lock. And yes, the reason why you're not hearing me on the, the loud PA is because of the, the, let's just call it unprofessionalism. The service concert, courtesy of the notorious one in the ring during our last commercial timeout. Again, in illegally, and you know the illegal switch. First in that top turbuckle. Nice head, Mayor. And a kick to the back. If you're wondering why I'm a little partial up here, because I'm being thrown some some stuff up here at the broadcast table. There you see a double arm back, the back knee double arm stretch by what happened to champ. And yes, this is a tag title match. And again, now it's almost to the point of who can cheat the most and who can cheat the best. It's his four. The tag titles. And right now, Yeah, 
down to the canvas. Yeah, I know I've been, I'm ha I've been handed a whole lot of stuff here at this, on our broadcast table, ladies and gentlemen. And there you see Addison Kane on the outside, the front side of the camera shot. And he'll drop the positive right there on that ring apron. And the referee literally having to chase the Torres one back. Back to the, yeah, back to his corner. Meanwhile, Red shot throw back inside, lateral press while like hook. No, excuse me, near leg hook. And Notorious One does what he does best. Grab the referee to prevent the three count. And the tag is made. Yeah. Yeah, please pardon the lack of objectivity, but the Notorious One could go take a flying leap, in my opinion. Now looking at Rich in the lag. Rich in the lag. And now literally trying to turn him right there on that on side where that leg is. Is that the king? And now dropping that left leg, the exposed knee right to the canvas. That is he who can cheat the most. And again, this time Terry Wayne dropping that exposed knee right there on that ring on that ring frame. And now wrapping it around the ring post. And I mean wrapping it directly around the ring post. And the tag is made. And yeah, push it in, yeah, push the Torres one. And again, like it's on the front side, like a handheld figure four here. A handheld figure four leg lock. Meanwhile, the Notorious one trying to chase the champion. That's a losing battle. Dragging it right in mid center cover. Oh, yeah, two and a half. And again, the Toya Swan pulls a referee. Again, another lateral press. And that time the shoulder is up. Back knee arm stretch here. the back knee, and a face lock applied by Terry Wayne. Now these two teams are accomplished, no question about it. The bottom line, they're going for their 11th tag team championship as a hustle. Can they do it? Oh, jump breaker. Great counter by Rookshot, but bottom line, he's taking a shellacking. The tag is made to Kane. Yeah, the tag was made to Adson Kane, and right now, it has literally, literally been all champions. And a scoop slam by Adson Kane. Well, Adson Kane got struck the splash. That's it. And again, the Notorious One grabs the referee. Yeah, he may have cost himself. Good. A shot right in the midsection. Right to Kane. Stump right to the face. And a shot to the Notorious One for good measure. I'll tell you one thing, you took away the tag option. And meanwhile, the Toyota Swan gets in the ring illegally. And that's why the champs can do exactly what they're doing right now. They're taking advantage of the short views of the Toyota Swan Bradley Dick. Yeah. 
Now I'm in short fuse. Shades Cornbread. Whee! And tri Triple H drop right on the corner. And that is at the lateral press. Again a two count. Again a two count on that lap on that near ball. And the tag is made. And right now it's literally been all champions, literally 80, it ready 80, 80 percent of this contest. It's literally been all the champions. Irish rubber the far side. That's okay. Oh, and he missed out of the corner. But bottom block here, we'll shut get the tag. One. He's got the leg. Oh, and a great counter with an into Gary. He caught it with an into Gary. But bottom line, he's had too much pressure on that knee. And he's taking so much pressure in this dispatch. Excuse me. He's got to get a tag right now. Watch out, some humidity in this building. Wait a minute. Fresh tag is made. Yeah. Polish hammers. Follow up on right hand by the notorious one. And now, and mean the Congress. And now, can the hostess capitalize? Can he become 11 time champs? Notorious one missed. The notorious one missed, no question about it. Yeah, the notorious one missed out of the corner. And now all four men literally tired and exhausted. And then the lead in close line by the hooligans. Oh no, we've seen this before. Oh, and the Taurus Whip broke that one up. Yeah, and then the Taurus Whip broke that up. And now they could be looking for hustle down here. Wait a minute. Yeah, Alex and Kate's got steel chain. Oh, he took right there, plugging the right hand. Wait a minute. Hustle down! Hustle down, he kicked the chain right of his hand! But three count is on, I think we got new champs! Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest!
to the back. I am absolutely shocked.
Once again, a reminder, amplify your positivity on a whole nother level. Every Thursday night, we're wrestling at the sound, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on this station, or YouTube search. Resonate the sound. There you see this man. The orange gold. That's what's at stake, folks. Two occasions. One last week. has gotten the better of the challenger. Will it be third time for charm? Or will we see a new chat? Crowns up around here on the line. Is to win the title 
Because Derrick King got to go to the back of tricks. He's got a whole lot that he can win with. That's not a lot about the challenger. He's got a whole lot that he can win with. And he doesn't necessarily have to rely on the super kick. Because we saw two, two matches with these two. Shot over to the road, close on his jaw. Back here, close up. Block. And again, the right hand. And so far, it has been the challenger with the advantage. Tell you one thing, I, I get to meet with just own personal analysis here. Your king has a whole lot more than that super kick that he can rely on. Very much the super kick that your king is what the Canadian destroyer gives to the PD Williams. And this is crazy. Only one man is kicked out of that. And you know him as other night. Yeah. 
be table.
Keep in mind, double counter here means the champ retains the title. Wait a minute, out comes the center. Let's check out. Oh, ho, ho. You, you can see me on like I'm seeing it on my monitor here. That, I mean, that hand was literally six inches away from striking a canvas from three fighters. Keep your eye on it. 
I'm on the facade. Now look, you just are distracting a referee. Hey, get plastic. Elliot's up at the ring apron. Yes! And Carter just nailed Turkey with the title belt. And he's going to retain. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is still Legacy World Champion, Carter. Controversy ensued and Carter retained the title. Boy, I'll close the comments right there this time out. Hi, everyone. I'm Corey Burke and the Dean of Arkansas Sportscasters and the voice of Mid Southern Championship Wrestling, inviting you to join us live each and every Friday night at 8 p.m. at MCW Info right there on your screen. Plus, we're taping for MCW Defiance on YouTube, Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern. We fight on Friday night. See you in El Salvador. Well, that goes to show you any and everything that Connor's willing to do to make sure he retains that title. And this shows you the lengths that people will literally go through even if they were to show up at MCW to collect a fine. In this case, a bounty. A $5,000 bounty cash money. Of course, and what a debut by DDK. Of course, DDK and Woolworth, uh, Bruce McGowan, are part of a group um, in Out of Control Wrestling called the Modern Day Monsters. And of course, uh, DDK has this recording. Uh, DDK is um, OCW's US Champion uh, fo following his title win. And of course, um, and he brought gold to that Modern Day Monsters camp. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we do have new Legacy Tag Team Champions. The Hustlers did it again. They are number 11. And um, on an editorial note, we want to apologize to you, our home audience. Um, there have been some unprofessional acts that occurred on this program. Um, and I was told during our last commercial break, uh, courtesy of um, our people, at syndicated media television partners group that um, that will be that issue will be addressed uh, coming up later on in, uh, in the month of April uh, right before our two year anniversary uh, is forthcoming in the month of in the month of May we will address all of that information and so forth uh, but bottom line there was a whole lot of nonsense and junk that went on and um, if you happen to catch that on your television sets um, or wherever you are around the world we sincerely apologize um, that those actions on their part were unprofessional and we vow and guarantee that they will not happen again with that out of the way Let's talk about next week, ladies and gentlemen. Next week's program, yes, we will be. Oh, well, <laughs> Woo let me let me just let me just say this. Uh, next week, next week's program is going to be big time abbreviated because of sports coverage that will be right here on this network next week. Uh, it'll be an abbreviated version of MCW Defines, but we do know this. Based after what you saw here earlier uh, in this program, next week's show will involve this following main event. One side, Derek King and the dude Morgan Williams. On the other side, Luke Justice and 
Legacy World Champion Connor on the other side. That will be our main event this, next week. Also, Serpent and Dorian Van will renew the rivalry. Uh, Zach Daniels and uh, Addison Kane. Let's see, can uh, Zach Daniels pull the upset win? All that will take place. It will be an abbreviated version of MCW Defiance, ladies and gentlemen, because of sports coverage. That's going to follow. Normally, we're inside. or normally we're the start of the Pro Wrestling 4-pack. But because of sports coverage next week, we will be on. Some of us, some of y'all will have us on at an earlier time. Our YouTube simulcast will start at 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. But because of sports coverage, we will be on in some places a little bit later than normal because it's going to lead right on up to the sports coverage and all. And because some of us are going to be watching on some, some, let's just say some places will be watching us on some of our CBS affiliates. Um, and they will have earlier sports coverage on that day. But we'll make sure that bottom line, we have MCW Defiance right here for you next week. Folks, it will be one, one, one crazy show. Make sure you join us. We're abbreviated next week. We may be on at an earlier time. We may be on at a later time. So check your local listings. But we're on our YouTube simulcast and all. We'll start at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Central. Make sure you join us right here next week. Until then, for DJ Mike Tierra, our executive producer, Eric Hoverton, our producer, Dan Gilchrist, our director. For everyone at MCW, for everyone at Syndicated Media Television Partners Group, I'm Chris Honigan. We say, love shows love and you be you. And the words of the late great Lance Russell. Until next week, we say, bye-bye, everybody.